How to test a thermocouple with a multimeter. You ask a friend, and the friend tells you the thermocouple is bad. So, the next question, how to test a thermocouple with a multimeter. So how do you test the thermocouple to see if it is bad or not? You will need a multimeter that will read millivolts, most meters read small voltage like millivolts, which is one one thousandth of a volt, and a source of fire such as a lighter or small torch. How to test a thermocouple with a multimeter step by step. First, remove the thermocouple. Secondly, turn on the meter and set it to ohms. Touch the two leads together from the meter, and you should get a reading close to zero. With the leads apart, you will read infinity. That is simply a test to check the meter for continuity. Finally, now turn the meter to volts. Thirdly, start the flame and put the tip of the thermocouple in the fire. Next, ensuring the tip is nice and hot from the flame, take one lead from the meter and put it on the shaft of the thermocouple and the other lead and put on the end of the thermocouple where it makes contact with the gas valve. Finally, if the reading is less than 25 millivolts replace the thermocouple as most standing pilot gas valves need 25 or more millivolts to keep the pilot flame lit. The thermocouple millivolt range should be above 25 millivolts. If so then it is good. If you test the thermocouple with the multimeter and you get a reading above 25, then you have another issue. Importantly, always make sure the tip of the thermocouple is directly in the pilot flame. If the tip is in the flame, you have held the knob on the gas valve down for longer than a minute, the pilot flame is strong and steady, and the pilot still does not stay lit, then you likely have a problem with the gas valve. Lastly, gas valves cannot be repaired as per any manufacturer. You need a new gas valve. Finally, good luck.